Hey, we live, we live, we live, we live. It's a hey, pleasure. Thank y'all for coming. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Well, we out here. <laughs> we in New Jersey right now. I'm out here with my guy Q. Jersey, what up? What we up? Out here. What's happening? So we out here. We live. We this this guy right here is a funny guy. It's yeah, man. My man came to the whole show. He told me he wasn't gonna be able to make it. I but he made it. You got to the whole show. Oh, we support, got to, we support, man. Man. He told me to charge him and all that. I liked it. See, <laughs> hey, listen. He's stepping it up for the light skinned brothers. Why you guys say right? like that? Because you did. Because dark skinned brother be like, yo, yo, what? Yo, who in there? Nah, you, you know gotta support saying? it. You gotta support it. Right. Back. Support. Is that me or you? No, nah, that's you. That's you. Oh, that's me. No, that's you. That's you. I'll call you back, baby. I'm interviewing right now, man. We live, man. We live, man. We live, man. Yo, we live. We live, man. All right, every day. Yeah, okay. So we out here. Yeah. Tell them who you are, though, first. Yeah, first of all, for those that do not know, I am Q Brooks. Yes. Something to talk about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm here on the rain check. My man been trying for a minute to get me here, man. And this is real talk. Like, this brother right here, good business. Good businessman, yes. you know what I'm saying? I used to crack his ass and ball a little bit. Yeah, but but other than that, this my man. But this my man though. This my man. But we out here, we definitely come yeah. to support all the time. So like he said, he asked me to charge, I said it's a price. You know what I mean? We gotta support right at the end of the day. I ain't gonna try to get stuff for free if we all try to about. make some money. That's what it's all about. So you know, I came out here to Jersey. Where we at right now? Yeah, we in uh we are in Hillside, New Jersey. This is the this is the uh, the like the midpoint of New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? So like, it's not too far from North. It's around Irvington. It's yeah. a, it's around, you know what I'm saying? And all my peoples is out here now. We can we can we can flash the camera on. Y'all can come through. Come can, can y'all come through, man? Can y'all come through? Cause we live right now. Should we come through? You know what I'm saying? I roll with a team, and the team roll with me. Look at my man, Trev. But he mad at us tonight. We don't I know what it is. I ain't mad. He ain't look, talking to look, us listen, no listen. more. Hold on. If you rewind the tape. No he if you ain't doing no more tape. shows for us no more. We listen, love this nigga here. If we were on the tape, man. if we were on the tape, I bought this nigga calamari last night. Listen, this nigga, man, see how you treat me, man? And the shit was delicious, too. I meant to tell you. That lemon and pepper salt shit. Oh, man. I need to. I started to ask. started to email you like, nigga, where did you get this from? This shit is delicious. We love Q Brooks. But listen, man. This is my man. Trevius. If y'all don't know him, follow him on Instagram. Yo, nigga got, yo I was head. following him where he had like 302. And I now still got like, 305. Nah, he got like 17,000. I've been asking <laughs> no. this nigga to do a video and all that to get my numbers up. The nigga, yo, yo, let me hit you back. Let me hit you back. And my man Ace, look at my man Ace was here. My man Ace, look, he's the only brother in New Jersey. Hey, Shadi. That is a fan of San Francisco, but he's still my man. <laughs> I'm not a fan of San Francisco. What's your team? Kansas. 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 They both red, so I get confused Kansas. sometimes. But hey, yeah, Shadi. He's still my man. Y'all don't shout on. out the niggas. Hold on, wait. Hold nah, on. This, this, this is who I meant to tell. Somebody that helps out with This is who I meant to tell. Hey. This is my man. That's the only. Hit me up right here. He the only 49ers fan. Look, yeah, yeah, look. Me, me and my man, Lord, with the, the <laughs> number one 49ers fan. Rest in peace. Comedians. Rest in peace in my dude right there. Yeah. Thank you for looking out. Hey, look, man. Yeah. Don't you be like that no more. I you don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> yo, this only 49 is right, man. Yo, this my man. But that's Q my man. Baby. You know what I'm saying? You already know. Shout out Home Sweets Comedy Club, baby. Yeah. All right, come on. Don't be plugging your show on my shit. <laughs> yo, we, bro, we out here. I tell you, niggas, boy. We got look, this much, man. Nah, we out here definitely having some fun. Um, I always come out and do the shows and try to support black. Absolutely. Not just only black, but everybody Absolutely. that I'm cool with. Um, so why you ain't having no white people on the show? <laughs> We do. We got. We got two. When? We got well, more. Well, I, I, I done watched all the rain checks. Nah, you done watch all. I ain't them, seen not one white person on the rain well, check. Be on white there. people, y'all need to start gentrifying this nigga right here. Yes, please, gentrifying. please, please do. But let's let's talk more about yeah, you and what you're doing right now. Like, um, where you at right now with everything that's going on? Like, um, right now, man, I'm in the grind. You know what okay. I'm saying? For those that don't know, uh, the. the Part of one of my hashtags is every day we grind it. Because yes. like every day you wake up, especially if you in the entertainment field or just in the field of trying to do something that you, you love or you care about or you got a passion for, it's an everyday grind. Oh, so yes. it, you know, you gotta wake up early. You 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 sacrifice not seeing your family, not seeing your kids. So this is an everyday grind for me. Um, you know, I've done a, a, a couple of things. This year I was on TV twice. Wendy Williams, a couple of web series. Okay. So, you know, it's, it's, it's no yeah, ass. yeah, no yeah, ass. man. Right. You, 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 move, you move silently, yes. quietly, and they all, and they still all going to watch. And, you know, that's what it's all about, man, you know. Yeah, uh, just definitely. always keep putting your, your ear to the, keeping your ear to the pavement. Keep hitting the ground with, with what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So let, let's get into some of your social media. Tell them some of them that they can tune into if they want to catch you or follow you. 
hey man, you can catch me in the street. <laughs> you can catch me in the street right here, right now. How we all? You might catch me getting the line up in the barber shop. You know what I'm saying? But my all my handles is I am Q Brooks. So on Instagram, I am Q Brooks. Uh, Twitter is Q R O X. I gotta find out somebody to fix that up for me. But Instagram, I am Q Brooks. Uh, Snapchat, I am Q Brooks. You follow me, man. Come yeah. get some laughs. You know what I'm saying? Definitely was a good yeah. night. You know, yeah, it was, was a good like, night. Yeah, you got to see the whole from start to finish. Yes. So you know, like you know, it's, it's it's not a game. You know what I'm saying? This is just. It, 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 it's, a, it's a hard job, but somebody got to do it. Yeah, we out here in Jersey. Had to come out here and check them. I was supposed to check them last week or week before that, right? Mm -hmm. But, you know, little stuff happened, but we still out here. That's because you're, you're busy. You're busy, man. You're working. busy. Working. Like, when I first saw my man doing the rain checks, he hit me up and said, Q, I definitely got, I got to hit you up. You know what I'm saying? Because me and this brother met on the job. You yes. know what I'm saying? So we not only brothers that are fathers... Yes. But we brothers Congrats that Congrats to him You know what I'm just, saying He just became a father Yeah He's in see, the game I've been in the game for a while but, Yeah but you, know. you I don't know who watching this though I might have wanted some side shit And you did <laughs> You know what I'm done man. <laughs> Yeah but anyway You know Back to what I was saying It. Yeah I met this brother on the job We was both uh, College graduates Definitely. And uh you know, tutoring children. I, yes. I I tutored fifth grade math, and he did. He was like the dean or some shit, and he just came off the street like. And I was like, hey, wait a minute, I've been here two years. What the, the? But it was all good, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, because so right now, right here, fun. right now, we still we always have fun. We always kick. He was always a cool brother, and those are the type of people that you want to keep around you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And your circle, keep your circle tight. Yeah, so Everybody I know, I know okay, here. being that you are a comedian, I know there's been times where it's really tough for you. Uh, what, what, what's like one of the toughest places you ever went to where it was just like, uh, I don't uh, Yo, you know what? The toughest places for me are the places that are not conducive to comedy. You know what I'm saying? Because what do you mean by that? What I mean by that is like, you know, it's a setting. Comedy is a setting, you know what I'm saying? There's a stage, there's a light, yeah. you know. Um, I do a lot of urban rooms, so with the urban rooms, you know, um, nine times out of ten, the game might be on, or it's just something that got their yeah. attention other than the performer. And when you're performing, you always want the attention on you and your performers. As a host, as a person introducing other comedians, you always want your people to get that same focus. And sometimes, you know, you know, comedy is the cheapest form of entertainment because all you need is a mic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes a mic, you don't even need that. Though. A mic and some peoples. And yeah. I done been in some rough spots that, where I'd be like, every night I got to prove my love. <laughs> but, you know, you do it for the love, and that should make you a, a tougher, stronger comedian. You know Definitely. what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah, because you all going to go through the ups and downs because it was a... It wasn't acting that I was a little difficult to get, kind of get deal with, but it was cool just to, just to see the ver variety that you have. Like, yeah, you know, and you gotta, you know, in these black rooms, sometimes I find like you might find comedians talk about the same shit, and okay. some people be talking about old shit. Like every black person ain't got roaches no more. We ain't talking about roaches. We got a black president. We talking about life shit. Yeah. Like I don't know if y'all seen that picture. Yeah. Did y'all see that picture? Where Obama got his head on his on the first lady uh, head. Uh, when she had the fatty? Yes! Oh, yeah. Now, yeah. I didn't want to say it because I respect my president. I was saying. But this, Obama, yo, I apologize, yo, but that Obama, was, Obama. Yo, I see why you went in the office for so long, brother, because that was sitting right. That, that was thing right. was plump and PNC, plump and chunk. <laughs> plump and chunk, man. It's a, it's a plump and chunk, man. It's oh, you post. want to get in it, girl? Okay, we got I want to get okay, in it okay. because the comedy was. This good. is 17 years right here. She, she got a boyfriend for 17, 17 years. That's all years. we heard about. You know what I mean? We don't want to not get him in because she's like. She was like, look, I don't pay no bills. That's right, I pay zero bills. Zero, zero bills. zero bills. You know what that means? You ain't got no money in the bank. Yeah, so no anyway, money. like we always say. She got a career. Okay, you got a career. You got a career? Yes. Okay. 90 grand a year and yeah. zero bills. Oh, can I hold a dollar? Okay, I, I got to get 90 a grand. 90 grand. 90 grand. dollars. I got to go back. Look at my hand on my head. back to New York. Let me get a 90 grand, huh? 90 grand, huh? You need a CW, too? I don't need no W, too. You good. You good with me. Okay, she a parole officer. She doing it. Oh, you a parole officer. She doing it. Oh, okay. All right. Third person. That's how she talks to us. All right. That's how That's how they know you know they crazy. Yeah. She doing it. She doing it. Who is she? She is right in front of you. Okay, boo-boo. That's like when you got a backup. All right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway...
But what's some what's some upcoming place that you got coming up? Like some place you'll be performing. At? Yo, this Saturday I'm in Orange, New Jersey, 501 Central Lab. Okay. It's a black-owned establishment. It's referred to as Southern Comfort. So if you're watching this right now and you mess with my man Rain, I got two tickets for him to give to you. All you gotta do is pay that fifteen dollars to get here. Cause I know you're from Queens, right? Yeah, all the way. Yeah, so you know. Yeah, so you you know if if you in Queens, you come on out here. I'm gonna take care of you. You said, yo, I seen you on the rain check, brother. Yeah. And and I like I like what you was doing. <laughs> definitely. You know what definitely. I'm saying? Yo, my lips look black as hell on this thing, but boy, let me look like I smell too much weed. Woo! Gotta back up, man. No. Ooh. <laughs> yo, let's okay, so let's talk about something. Okay, what's your all-time goal with um being an African comedian? What do you All-time goal, man. Uh, all-time goal, man. I think my all-time goal, I just want to be on the screen, man. I want to represent. I think everybody that's doing something, they want to they wanna bring it back to their hometown. Okay. So their hometown will be like, yo, I know that dude, or yo, like, yeah. dude, is, that's my man, and all X, Y, Z, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's, like, that's one of my, that's one of my goals. So I'm from a small town, you know what I'm saying? I'm from Syracuse, New York, 315, represent, from the Cubes, Carmelo Anthony, Carmelo Anthony, the orange and blue, you feel me? You feel me? But, you know, um... I just want to bring something home because yeah. it's not like it's unlike New York City, and you know, and New York City don't respect us. Yes. That's why when I go out of town, they be like, "Where you from?" I be like, "Brooklyn." <laughs> Brooklyn, nigga, what's up? It, it don't, it don't got the same effect in Syrac from Syracuse. Syracuse, that ain't even New York. It is New York. That better show us some respect, man. Upstate. We part of y'all too. Y'all better stop acting like that, New York. But okay, so talk about that going up to Syracuse. How was that for you? Syracuse is crazy, man. Small wow. town, small town, a lot of violence. You know what I'm saying? It's a college town, yeah. so it's not a lot to do. And the people that's getting money are mostly non-black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got a couple of blacks sprinkled here and there, but growing up, like I didn't see black principals yeah. and black uh, facilitators. You know what I'm saying? So the really guys, no, no black yeah, images. no black positive yeah. images to look at. So the, the guys that were positive were driving big cars and riding around with pretty light-skinned women, yeah. and they were selling that dope. And you know, personally, that was fly to me. You know what I'm saying? That's all you see. So That's all you see. So like you know, as I got older. You know, I started to travel. When I graduated high school, I moved to Atlanta. Atlanta turned me on to just a whole bunch of different things, man. Like seeing black people driving big cars, living in big houses. You know, I'm going out there, end of the month, 30. Yo, you're going to love moving. it, man. You're moving out. You're, gonna love you're moving out. out. Yeah, definitely moving out. Are you married? Nope. Nope. Yeah, you might want to. Yeah, you might want to get married before you go out there, bro. Why is that? There's a lot of single women, man. A lot of oh, okay. single women, too. But uh, go, go ahead and. You know, I'm not in a rush though. I'm yeah, still kind of young. Man. You know what I'm saying? I don't really need to do too, too much of it. You know, just, you know, just, just trying to get this going. Just this yeah, show. The, the rain check, sure some the rain check is, is on and popping, man. Look at that. We got three whole viewers. <laughs> it was at 43, but we got four. Oh, four. Uh -oh, Wait a minute. Tamara Hawkins. <laughs> Tamara Hawkins. Ooh. Who said Tamara? Holler at us. We out here. No, Live and direct. Oh, you got oh wait, oh we got five. Uh, oh wait a minute, uh, Sunday, uh, six, oh, hey, seven. Hey. Oh my God, <laughs> we going up. Yo. We going up. All the way up, baby. We all around here, judging. All the way five up. Five viewers going up. Five viewers. Hey, y'all ain't even see the side. Look at the side. Look at the side. Look at the side. Look at the side. Oh, they out here. They out here. I got them waiting for that bread. Wow, what's going on? Why, 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 why are you doing us like that? It's too loud. Oh, too loud. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to bring it down. We're going to bring it down. We've got to bring it down. about to get us. We don't want no problems. Yo, I don't want no problems with this man. I told this man I had a son. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. I told my man I had a son. <laughs> Rain was out here. This, no, this is a true not. story. I told, I told him, like, you know, my son be just wilding out, you know? Yeah. And then he was like, yo, you know what you do? You put your son in the playpen. Turn the playpen over. Jail time. Nobody gets out. <laughs> True story. No, turn, the, turn, turn, the, turn, the, turn the playpen upside down. <laughs> Jail time. Lockdown. Nobody gets out. I got four daughters. I said, man, you do them like that too? That's when you got to talk and back up. Of, oh, that's what's up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah brother. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's up. And he said, I whipped all my um, all my nieces and aunts and uncles. I whipped them all. I said, all right, brother. You, 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 you keep on whooping. Salute. So, here we go. This is one last question just so we don't hold you up. Right, I know it's getting right, late. right, right. You see them. Um, you see they on my ass. I know. All right. So the last thing I wanted to talk about is being that you got to be able to get out of Syracuse and move around, 
Like, how did that help you to really get to the point that where you at now? Because where you at now is like now you really can't stop what you're doing because you got a kid. So you gotta you gotta show an example by keep pushing yourself as your dream. But it's it's about it's about more than the kid though. You know what I'm saying? Tell me. It's about more than the kid. Like right now it's about happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm happy. Like I don't have a million dollars. I don't have the, the fly car with the you know I don't have it. Yeah. But you know I'm happy in my skin. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Because I get to do something that I love. Some people wake up. Crack a dawn in the morning, be mad as a motherfucker, <laughs> slap the alarm, yeah. go back to sleep, <laughs> grab the covers. I don't do that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm happy. I wake up, I hit my Uber, and I come pick y'all niggas up for the first during the daylight hours. Oh, yeah. Uber too. You know what I'm saying? Uber during life. the daylight hours. <laughs> so some of y'all looking like this nigga look familiar, man. <laughs> I probably took you somewhere. I might have took you to Brooklyn, Queens, and who knows? I'm all over the place. But at night, I am a full-fledged, 100% prime USDA comedian in your face and on your ass. All right? Yeah. <laughs> but definitely on that note, that that's good that you got to, like I said, like you always yeah, got to be happy with yourself. Happy with so yourself. I always say you got to get your own on. That's by getting yourself right, getting yourself together, being happy, and that's how you can right. live life. And get your chest right, fellas. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go get ahead. Your, get, your, get your chest right. right. Wait, right. don't show it off. All right, don't show it off. Wait, just, get, get your chest right. All right, all right. <laughs> get your chest right. The summer's ending. We still got a couple more months. Get your chest right. My joint is my joint is coming. It's coming. Yeah, it's coming, man. You, you, you know bro. what I'm saying? It's coming. You see the spread. Look at the spread. Look at his shoulder line. Look at the spread. Come on, man. It's real Yo, deal. It's real the real deal. I want to thank you again for coming out. Let me Always, come out man. and check Yo, you look, out and everything, bro. I'm here at the rain check. Y'all keep on checking in, man. Yeah. I appreciate all four to seven of y'all that came out tonight <laughs> to watch this video. And y'all keep supporting the rain check, man. And keep coming because we can't keep banging y'all in your head. Yo, hey, rain check, man. We out.